Yo, crypto nation and mining family. Crip crypto nation and mining family. What's going on? And of course, like always, it's not financial advice. Yo. Yo, Crypto Nation and Mining Family, what's going on out there? Yo, um, so I hope that all you guys out there have been enjoying some of my live streams of me uh, doing some board repairs. I will be doing more of those uh, just because I like doing them. Um, and I will be doing as many of them as I possibly can. But this little episode is um, more more about ooh, some, some product oh oh we got some cool stuff oh so the good news is you're a bitcoin millionaire all right bad news is, is you lost your password and your mnemonic c phrase yo have you ever been in that position um i know i haven't uh but i heard of a lot of people you know they're like oh I forgot my password I didn't write down my mnemonic seed phrase uh, so I've got some Bitcoin over here but I can't access it well I you know it's like I've always been a, a person that preaches about you know making sure you got a core wallet uh, making sure that you write down your password in a couple of different spots um, this way if something catastrophic ever happens uh, you are pretty much covered one way or another, right? Um, whether you're using a, a ledger, a treasure, or the, what is it, the vault, whatever it is, you know, are you making your own USBs, you know, with uh, your own Bitcoin Core wallet? Uh, writing down a password and stuff like that is some of the things that you have to do in order to basically take responsibility of your own finances um, is that you're not relying on somebody else to keep you safe uh, with that being said guys uh, let's kind of dig into what i've got sitting on the bench here so this kind of goes into the mix of everything that i've got here got product one or two this is the first product that i had gotten um gotten it a while ago i've never really played with it uh, but it is cool this one i was just sent this stuff and uh, i've been kind of dying to check it out see what it's all about and it kind of goes back to um, what i was showing up over here so let's kind of uh dig into this a little bit so uh, you know, it's like cringeworthy. You know, it's like, have you ever had somebody throw away a piece of paper on you that you wrote down a password on or anything like that? Had a fire, lost everything because you didn't store it in more than one spot? Uh, that's some of the reasons why I've got some of the products I have here today. So let's go ahead and dive in. Um, I think we'll start off with this one and then I can compare them together. Mm, I like that. I like that. Now, what did I do with my knife here? I thought I had it. Oh, here it is. So let's go ahead, cut this bad boy open, and uh, pull out what's in here. Oh, I did not cut hard enough. Just trying to do this nicely. All right, so. Oh, it's got a note on here, too. All right, so what we got here? What we got here? I got a little, got an invoice. All right. And then I've got a, a little note on there. Thanks for reaching out and doing a product review. GPU Jesus. Oof. From the CEO, Freddy. Freddy H. Well, thank you, my man. Um, it is a pleasure to be able to do um, some product reviews and all that good stuff. So, first off, uh, they sent a, a sticker. Oh. I like stickers. Stickers are cool. 
and uh, got a nice little package here. It says uh, package contents, one ghost pen, a ghost pen. So when I open it up, does it just like disappear? Let's find out. Oh. It's like, no, 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 no. Oh, look at that. Look at that. All right, so comes with this nice little looking pen and uh, kind of twist it up and it uh, reveals it and you can put this onto the other end. This way you've got that and then it's got a little, little UV light on there too. Look at that. So it's got its own little pan. Well, it's more like a marker and uh, like a, a, almost like looks like a black light almost. That's pretty much what it looks like. They say UV light, but it looks like a black light to me. Um, so I'm wondering if I can sit there and put this under a full blown black light with the marker. Now this looks like some like, you know, pretty much older technology stuff that I used to play with when I was a kid. Uh, let's go ahead and open this up. Uh, what I liked about the product, there was a few things that, that was really cool. One was the uh, the way that the CEO was sitting there and showing off the product itself. Uh, but let's go ahead and the seal. Oh, here we go. All right. Let's go ahead and open this stuff up. Anything else in here? Nope. All right. So they gave me a, another sticker here. Oh. oh, and of course the little logo. So we got the company logo. We got uh, Freddy's personal logo. And learn how to use Shield Crypt. Scan QR code below. Uh, if you feel you might forget your Shield Crypt password, we recommend that you back it up. Just uh, back up your private keys, just in case. Your satisfaction is of the utmost importance to us. Don't ever, don't forget to leave us a honest review and a thank you. Hmm. Hi, I'm the Stone Brook Book. So it's got a little product here. Here, my creator built me. So. Did I last a lifetime? So let's check it out. Ooh, look at that. They even give me a nice little normal pen. So now I've got two pens. One is the ghost pen, and the other one is just a regular run of the mill pen. That pretty much writes black on anything you want. Um, so this is the product. This is what I saw and I thought was really cool. Um, we have the Stone Brook. Book. Uh, so, oh, this is kind of cool. So it's just, it looks like just like a run of the mill uh, notebook right here in the beginning. And then you get into the back side of this. And that's, let's see here. Oh, that's cool. So this isn't paper, it doesn't rip, it stretches. Well, that's kind of cool. And then you can sit there and put notes up into this and these are all That is really cool. So you get like a like half the book is like notes. It looks like and then we have login information and all that good stuff. Source two-factor authentication. So you can put your two-factor um, keys up on here if you'd like. Passwords, usernames, and where the source comes from. And you can kind of come into it a little bit further back. Let me see here if it, aha. There we go. Now we got private keys. So you can sit there and put like 
Bitcoin Core Wallet on there, um, and then you can put your password. Uh, or you can put your mnemonic seed phrase into the wallet, and it gives you a lot of pages, so you can... Ah, here we go. I was wondering how that was going to work. So, we've got wallet, private keys you can put down onto here if you'd like. And then we've got uh, mnemonic seed phrases that we can put into the back side here. It tells you what wallet you're playing with and all that good stuff. So, and all these pages, they really feel like a normal page until you go to try to rip one of them and you're like, oh, wait a minute, this is not paper. Um, and it writes as normal. High times or something like that. And let's see here. See. Now that's something that you don't see too often. Now I had hit hit it with ink. And it basically soaked up into the pen a little bit here. So, basically, the way that it looks like is I should be able to just turn this on. And as you can see, it's a UV reactive ink that's in the ghost pen. So, what I'm going to do here is we're gonna we're gonna write it like this all right go ahead and so I put my my gamer tag on there nemesis it's hard to hard to really see on the camera camera doesn't really show this up too well Let's see here if I can get the focus in on this a little bit better. All right. So Nemesis, as badly as I wrote it. <laughs> and then on top of it. GPU Jesus. So now, underneath it says Nemesis, and above it says GPU Jesus. So, if you guys remember back in the day, so if you guys remember back in the day being able to, you know, you had the uh, black light or UV reactive ink, um, and you'd send little messages to your friends back in, you know, grammar school, depending on how old you guys are. Um, I don't know. I, I haven't seen products like this in a long time. I think it's pretty cool that, um, you know, it's like it doesn't rub off of it nemesis is still showing up there and got a little bit of water here this is what's actually what what got me to go huh really so let me go ahead and now normally that would make all the ink smear and all that good stuff As you can see, the ink is still there. It's not it's not wearing away at all. And uh, oh my gosh, I got to I got to dry it. Oh my god, right? And Nemesis is still poorly written in the background. It didn't smear that away at all. The page is nice and wet. I'm trying to pat it dry on myself. You know, because that's what a normal person would do. Like, oh my god, I got it wet. Um, so definitely got to make sure that um, you write with the ghost pen first. Otherwise, the ghost pen will start picking the ink off of it. And you will start being able to see uh, due to the pen itself soaking up some of the black ink. Kind of negates um, the ghost pen itself. Um, which... You know, you 
and you can sit there and like you can kind of see it if you're like looking at it just right you know it looks like an ink smear on there and you can sit there and you see how it pops up but like a little I mean my camera is just not doing any real justice to this um, really kind of cool product actually you know all the pages are waterproof on here uh, it's just like a really neat, neat way to be able to hold uh, passwords, two-factor authentications, and your mnemonic seed phrase. Um, this is not fire safe, of course. Um, so, I mean, I could sit here and easily burn stuff on this. Um, if you have a torchy by me, most of the time I got a torch. Mm. Ah, but I do have a lighter. So it does burn, and it's plastic, definitely. Definitely melts. Oh yeah, that's plastic. Very much plastic. It melts very easily, as you, um, I don't know if my, you guys were able to see that, but I'll do it again. Um, so fire, fire by ad. So it does burn. As you see right there, it burns, it melts. Um, not like, not paper, that is for sure. So um, keep this away from fires and stuff like that. Definitely not fireproof. Um, so that's just one way to be able to keep all your, your uh, stuff organized in one spot. Um, big shout out to uh, the guys over at Shield Folio. Uh, Shield, yeah, folio.io. Um, so let's go ahead and get into a little bit of the product itself here. So okay, is it this one? Yeah, cool. Um, so steel shield folio stone book. Uh, stone book. Um, you know, as I was saying, it's a nice way to be able to hold your private keys. Um, it will last a lifetime since you're storing all the stuff off your computer, safe from hackers at that point. Um, you encrypt your private keys by hand. Um, they say it's made from stone. It wouldn't burn. Uh, so I would say that, you know, it's made from plastic. Uh, but it is water resistant, oil and bug resistant. Um, as we, sh as I demonstrated, it is water water resistant. Uh, and yeah, <clears throat> you know, it's like you will be able to, as you see here, you see the guy just sitting there writing down his his mnemonic seed phrase onto it, which is really nice. Um, and then you can see it shows up a lot better in the dark. I'm properly lit up so it's really hard to see um, I could see it on my end but my camera doesn't want to pick it up because it's so lit up around me with my uh, lights um, and it's like you know some of the questions would be it's like how durable is it um, according to them this is the next generation product it's water resistant tear resistant which I just showed you it stretches instead of tears um, it's made to, to last as long as humanly possible um, it's, they say they claim that it's because it's made from stone. Uh, bugs won't touch it, and it won't decay uh, like paper. How it yellows and gets brittle if you if you store it in the wrong spot. Um, it's some of the reasons why, like the uh, Declaration of Independence, is held in a special gasp just to stop the hemp paper from further decomposing. Um, The shield, uh, what is it uh, made of? The pages are made uh, of uh, stone paper, which is 80% uh, limestone powder. Oh, okay. And 20% uh, HD uh, polyethylene. Uh, limestone is one of the most abundant raw materials, which is true. Uh, comes as a uh, waste product from quarries, yep. Uh, the plastic, which, I, which you can smell when you burn it, uh, serves as a binding agent for it um, and is obtained from old plastic bottles, uh, maize, or uh, sugarcane waste. That's kind of cool. Um, so it's kind of environmentally green. So they're utilizing uh, renewable resources. So they've got recycled plastics in here. 
um, and other things, including limestone. So this is a stone book. Okay, that's kind of cool. Um, this this durable can't be environmentally friendly too, right? Hmm. Um, the product the the product process creates an extremely durable notebook, which is. 100% uh, tree-free, water-free, acid-free, bleach-free, and produces zero waste. I like that. They're forward-thinking. Uh, the, res uh, the result pages are uh, like traditional paper, only a little brighter, whiter, and harder to tear. Uh, made from abundant stone, of course, of course, right, right, right? Um, it's definitely better than the recycled paper. Um, as I showed, it is waterproof. I like that. Just kind of going through some of the stuff that they sent me. Um, you know, it's all part of checking this stuff out. Um, as, a, as we were able to see, they, you can sit there and record private keys, recovery phrases, passwords, two-factor authentication, and 24 additional pages just for notes. Um, Private keys uh, by uh, you know can be uh, accessed as simple as uh, password hints and stuff like that. Uh, almost guaranteed, no one can guess your passwords without the use of brute forcing compute methods. Um, unless somebody knows what this uh, stone book is, um, they're not going to realize that you've got ghost ink on there. Um, but it's actually like UV reactive uh, ink, which still pretty cool um, and if you guys would uh, like some uh, any additional information um, I'll leave links in down below um, if you think this is a cool product um, that you would like to get into um, now coming on to the other product that I do have up on here um, which is now this one now this one is an Elipel uh, mnemonic metal. Uh, the difference between the two is that this one will only store your uh, mnemonic seed phrases. So this one's got a thing for notes in here, two-factor authentications, passwords, and mnemonic seed phrases with your private keys if you wanted to store them all in one spot. Um, now if you're like, man, I want to make sure that it's it's fireproof because we just we just proved that this thing I could burn it I could toss it in the fire, and it'll be gone. Uh, so that's the, that's the only drawback on this one. Well, two things. So if somebody were to steal it or you lose it on yourself, you're screwed that way. Uh, but if your house catches on fire and you got this in here and you got everything in one spot and you haven't made multiples of it and hit it over at your dad's house, your mom's house, your grandmother's house, somebody that you trust um, to be able to put something of importance into. Um, or, you know, God, you know, it's like the more copies you have of it, yes, you become a, it becomes a risk factor if that person knows who you are, yada, 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 right? Uh, where something like this, you don't have to at least worry about fires. Uh, why? Because this is metal. And you can sit there and put all your seed phrases into them. Um, as you can see, I have not used this. Uh, I, I like the technology. I, 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 I like the little bit of thought that these people have put into it. So you can sit here and they've given you a bunch of metal plates uh, to be able to spell out your mnemonic seed phrases in here. Um, and if you really look at it, uh, open up. They're not giving you much room to be able to put a whole bunch of these uh, letters in. Um, so if you've got a long word, you've got to put, you have to kind of abbreviate it to put it into here, uh, which, you know, to me is not an issue. If you have to abbreviate it, it gives you that little extra security. Uh, but if somebody comes across this, and they were into the Bitcoin world themselves too. They're going to look at this and be like, oh, I've got a recovery phrase here. A recovery uh, mnemonic phrase. What wallet's this to? And uh, let me download it on my computer and let me input this in and I'm going to steal all of this uh, Bitcoin. So 
that's the two bigger things that I see as a difference between them is that I can kind of hide the words in here um, as long as the person doesn't know what the hell they're looking at. Um, they'll never think twice on this. Um, but like I was saying, you can if you know what you're looking at um, and you catch it in the right light, you can kind of see that I put name down here. It's almost, almost unlegible, but I know something's there. Um, so if somebody un, you know has ever dealt with shield folio, um, they're gonna know that they need to get a UV light on here and they can go through the whole book page by page and get it that way. So um, the whole s secret side of this, um, it's only good if somebody is like unknowing and all that stuff you want to sit there and basically send a message in a bottle type of deal um, it's just a nice way to be able to store it off of your computer um, to somebody that you know if you have kids or something like that they're not going to be able to just oh what do you got here and it's going to look like nothing has been written down um, or you can sit there and write down bitcoin on here and put down the wrong words, random wrong words on here, and have the actual words written down underneath it. Um, one thing I did see that was a little bit um, of a pain with this is that the marker itself, um, it's hard to really write nice. It's not like writing like with a pen. You're writing with a marker, and we all know how uh, blurry markers can be so make sure that when you're using this that you're writing it legibly so if you're the type of person like myself who I write stuff down really quickly this might work against you so I would sit there and say hey slow down slowly write the words down this way they are legible um, and you can sit there and write them down with the light on, so you got the light in one hand, you're writing them down in the other, so you can see that you're writing them down legibly. Um, that, if you're like myself and your penmanship's not the greatest, I would suggest to write with the black light on or the UV light. I swear to God, this is black light. I'm gonna test that out a little bit later because uh, I do have a black light um, put away somewhere from back in my heyday. <laughs> um, whenever black light posters were the bomb. Um, so I'll give it a try, see how well it shows up with a black light itself. Um, if it shows up really nicely with a black light, um, I'll definitely be recommending for people to use a black light when they're writing stuff down. It'll give them more intensive light on there so that they can really see what they're writing. Um, if it doesn't want to show up with uh, the black light, I will let you know. Uh, but their pens, the pen's actually, you know, pretty nice. It's just your standard run-of-the-mill pen. It's a Bic, right? Looks like a Bic. It's like a Bic logo. I don't know. There's like a little, lo little, little logo dude on here. Oh, my camera doesn't want to pick that up. But let me see. Eh, no, that's too dark up where we're at that camera. But it's got the Shield Folio uh, logo on here. Um, so I will leave links in down below where you guys can actually um, check out this product um, if you'd like to order one up. It's actually not that expensive. I think it was like, uh, let's see here, if it had any kind of pricing on here. No. Of course, no pricing there. I know I got it somewhere where it shows pricing. So I'd, rather, I'd really like to have the pricing of this really quick. Let me open up the email that I had it in. And nope, that's the one that he sent me. Um, here we go. So um, you're looking at $45 for the book with the two pens. So you're getting a book and two pens for $45 to be able to keep your stuff safe and offline. Um, if you don't have at least something like this, um, you know, definitely, I mean, I happen to like this because you can spill stuff on there, you can get it caught in a flood, 
um, and you're all you're good to go. Um, the other thing that I liked about it, whenever I was like, uh, that kind of got me to start looking at it, was the uh, the owner Freddie was doing a video, and he basically put it onto a fishing line and just chucked it into the into this river. And it was just dragging it along in the river, and it's just sitting there floating along. Uh, pulls it out, everything is perfect on there. Um, so definitely got a lot of different uses on here um, yeah this has got like a bunch of stuff in here I like this this is a really cool nifty product I have to say uh, Freddy way to go um, I mean the only thing that you're missing is just being fireproof that's the only thing you're missing um, other than that wonderful product wonderful you can't just tear pages out of it oh, I'm gonna take this one page he'll never have his Bitcoin again Nope, nope, nope. You're gonna, you're gonna stretch the page out before you rip it out of here. Uh, you'd almost have to take it out of the glue binding, I would think, to, in order to get this uh, pa one of the pages up out of here, um, and that'll cause the book itself to start destroying. And oh, that's kind of cool. Okay, so my camera will not pick this up, but it looks like the pages are in like green. So let me see if I can pull up. So this amount of paper is half of it. So it's like a bigger piece that they folded in half and then glued it in. Um, it looks like it's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten loops of uh, the stone paper. Um, so you would almost have to take out a full loop in order to take take out somebody's password out of here and then somebody's gonna notice that that there's something missing out of the book on top of that this thing would probably start falling apart um, if I released enough of it off of the glue backing on here um, I like the product um, I will definitely be utilizing this myself so um, if you guys would like to get your hands on this, um, certainly I'll leave some uh, leave the links in down below uh, where you can grab one of these. Um, I suggest it if you don't have if you're just sitting there writing them down on a pieces of notebook, might be worth uh, a small little investment to put it into something that's at least waterproof, um, and then you can sit there and store this into a fireproof safe. Um, or you can even sit there, write everything down, and put it into a, uh, a lockbox um, at your local bank if you wanted to do it that way. Keep this thing even more secure. Um, this way the bank itself would have to be burned to the ground for you to have any issues with losing this. Um, or you could buy this for multiple, you know, buy multiple ones, write them down everywhere put them everywhere because now you know you've got them secretly written down uh, with your ghost pen and you know store it at your at your mom's house your grandmother's house because uh, you know it's like your house may burn down or their house you know god forbid anybody's houses burns down but if you've got more more than one copy you've got less likelihood of having to worry about a fire um, flood damage this isn't going to get affected by it. Uh, tornadoes, I'm pretty sure as long as this thing just doesn't come in, it doesn't get thrown at a house at 100 miles an hour, I'm sure this thing would survive. Um, so, I mean, natural, a lot of the natural events, everything but a fire, I'm sure this thing would survive it. Um, I almost want to sit there. I wish I could sit there and, like, simulate a tornado on this thing and see how it, how it fares up and high winds, um, you know, more of a catastrophic event versus just flooding. Um, a lot of people at their houses normally, you're gonna, your biggest concerns, you know, depending on where you live, is either gonna be tornado, if you live in Tornado Alley, um, or fires. Especially if like, if you live in California or something like that, where fires do happen, unfortunately, from time to time. Um, but if the fire department was able to get there and put the fire out before it reached anything like this, 
um, you can at least know that the fire department hosing your house down isn't causing your papers to be liquidated. Mm. Um, I hope you guys found that, uh, this little product review a little interesting, as I did. Um, I'm glad that um, Freddie over at Shield Folio um, was kind enough to allow me to have one of these, um, as I will definitely be using this. Um, I don't really use this one just because it's a little bit more cumbersome to utilize. Um, just because I've got to take it apart, I have to unscrew this thing. I don't. I, I can't just pick up a pen or two and write everything down. Um, to me, this is actually easier for me to use uh, than the Iliapel uh, uh, mnemonic seed phrase holder. Um, so I'll assure you that I will be using this. Hmm. And uh, I recommend anybody else if um, if you guys are writing them down. I'm on notebooks and stuff like that. Um, continue writing them down on your notebook, but also think about putting them down onto this and storing it in a second location. Because uh, at least with this, I can safely store it somewhere else and not have to worry about, you know, is that person going to realize that I'm using UV reactive ink on here uh, to take a look at it, especially if I'm writing it with a pen. People are going to focus in on what you wrote. Uh, not what they couldn't see you writing. So kind of keep that in mind, guys, when you're trying to keep yourself safe. So, you know, you got to store it over at your mom's house and um, you're, you got a little brother or a little sister in there with sticky little fingers. Uh, you don't have to worry about them accidentally coming across this and having full access to all of your cryptocurrency. Uh, with that, guys, if you got any questions or comments, certainly leave them down below. While you're down there, hit the bell notification, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I hope you learned something on this one, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.